filing your ITR can be a tiring task. Preparing your paperwork, knowing all the terms and conditions, important points, details to fill out and the list goes on. Moreover, if you delay them till the deadline, it can surely lead to a lot of mistakes as you will be in a hurry. And mistakes made while filing ITR will not only make your returns invalid but may also lead to penalties and prosecution. So in this video, we'll talk about 5 such common mistakes a taxpayer makes but before that, make sure you subscribe to the Money Control channel. Number 1. Choosing the wrong ITR form Selecting the right ITR form is very crucial as filing the wrong tax form can lead to penalties. You need to choose your ITR form based on the source of income, total taxable income, origin of income, assets and so on. For example, for a salaried individual with total income of up to 50 lakh rupees, ITR 1 would be applicable. Similarly, if you are an individual earning income from profession or business, the appropriate form for you would be ITR 3. Choosing the wrong ITR form will make your ITR defective. You could receive a notice to file revised returns and failure to respond in time will result in two returns being treated as invalid. Number 2. Not checking Form 16 and Form 26 AS Before submitting your ITR, it is essential to cross-verify your information with Form 16 and Form 26 AS. You need to ensure that the details of tax directed source, certain high-value transactions such as cash deposited, fixed deposits, immovable property transactions and so on tally with your Form 16, bank account statements and other financial records. In case of an error, the income tax department can send you a notice which might lead to less refund or tax payable. Number 3. Entering inaccurate bank details Incorrect bank details is one of the most common mistakes a taxpayer makes. As all the refunds from IT department are sent directly to your bank account, it is imperative to provide accurate bank information. You should correctly fill in the details such as name, IFSC code, bank account number and so on as your all the refunds from the IT department are sent directly to your bank account. Number 4. Not declaring income from previous employer if you have switched jobs recently or at any time in FY23, you should be very careful while filing the returns as you will have multiple Form 16s by both your previous and your current employer. You have to declare the income earned from both the organizations as AIA captures all the income details. So you have to be completely transparent to avoid tax notices. Number 5. Late filing of income tax return Though you can file your ITR even after the due date, it is recommended that you file it as soon as you get your Form 16. Delaying your ITR filing can lead to a lot of issues. For instances, your losses cannot be carried forward to the next year, late filing fees will be applicable, you will have to pay extra interest in case of tax liability and even the refund procedure can get delayed. There is also a chance that the income tax department could face glitches due to heavy visitor flow closer to the deadline. Lastly, make sure that you verify your filed return as without it, the IT department may not process your tax return. If you fail to verify your returns within 120 days of filing it online, it will be treated as invalid returns. You might have to refile the returns and also all the non-filing fees and penalties will also be applicable. I hope this video helps you. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues and subscribe to the Money Control channel for more.